Jonathan is going to do a persuasive speech. As it was said by the evaluator, his job in a persuasive speech is to try to change our frame of mind about something to his frame of mind so that we will be in agreement whether we might agree with it right now or not. So always a interesting task for any speaker. So let's welcome up Jonathan Fontana. Thank you, Toastmaster, and members, and guests. I'm going to pack about uh, two hours of information real quick in seven minutes, and I will take up probably my entire seven minutes and maybe a, a couple of seconds over, because it's very important what I want to talk about. First, I want you to realize and understand that we are very smart as human beings. As a species, we are very smart. You can hear an idea, I can give you an idea, you can immediately take it in, to your brain, you can weigh the pros and cons, you can log it away to recall it later and apply it to your life. If you like it, you can make it better. And we can do this all instantaneously. We, as people, evolve quicker than technology. Technology is always getting better. That's because we're getting better. Do you see what I'm saying? What I'm going to talk about right now is true happiness and how you can obtain true happiness the right steps moving forward and what's holding us back. I believe that all of us deserve to be truly, truly happy. And I want you to know I'm not talking about contentment because contentment and happiness are two different things. I'm talking about true happiness and I'm talking about spending your time doing what you want. Who spends at least five hours a day doing something they don't want to do? if it's a job. And, and I hope that everybody likes their jobs. I see a few hands kind of going up a little bit. And how do you find true happiness in that? So remember, we can learn very quick. I'm going to go through a few things. Balance. A balance in your life is paramount to having true happiness. A balance of what? A balance of the things that you don't need which completely come out, a balance against the things that you have to do, and then free time, what are you doing with your free time? I ask myself, when I have that successful picture, see that successful picture of myself, the future me, do you have a picture like that sometimes of yourself? The future me is going to have this. You can, I can name four or five things right off the top of my head that's going to change when I'm making big bucks. <laughs> And so I said, what are some of the things also going to change in my daily routine? I said, well, I'm going to I'm going to be a healthy eater. If I saw a picture of myself standing in my kitchen, the future me, he's going to be a little stronger, fit, healthy. I always say, I'm going to start getting into loose leaf tea and drinking that. It's a little more expensive, but it's got a lot of antioxidants, and I hear that's kind of a luxury. I like it. So I decided immediately to input those things into my life to start eating apples, to start eating healthy, to start working out, immediately. As soon as I told myself I had the idea, why not? Let's start doing that. Find out why, where to get some loose leaf tea, make it in the mornings. I get up early, sometimes I have to get up extra early in the mornings to do nothing. To spend 15 minutes putting the right playlist on, drinking my tea, going over the Toastmasters magazine if I feel like it, doing whatever I want, being grateful. Every day when I get up, I'm walking through the house, I just start naming things, that, anything that my, I can think of that I'm grateful for. It reminds me that I'm in a good mood. Happiness can't be found. You're not gonna find it. We're not gonna, we can't look around here and, and see it running under the table. You have to create it. Did you know you always pick your mood? You always pick it every time. Do you wake up in the morning going, uh, happy, no, no, grateful, mm, grumpy. That's the one I want. I'm going to be grumpy today. But we let things bother us sometimes. People bother us. Flat tires suck. <laughs> I call it cold fries. So you know, one of, one of the things I learned, I can tell you right now, you can adapt and apply it immediately in your life. Everything I ever got upset about, everything ever bothered me, no matter how mad I got, I always got over it. 
every time. A couple of things took me years. But I realized here in my later 20s, I was going, so everything, no matter how mad I get, no matter how big it is, I always get over it? Well, I'm not going to give it any thought anymore. And then you start learning little tidbits here. So there's a balance of the things that you want. Start thinking of some of the things that you want in your life. A man tells me, when I'm more successful, even when I get a little bit more money, I'm going to start wearing better shoes because this one's missing a shoelace and this one has a hole in it. I said, what you need to do tomorrow is go to a Goodwill or a yard sale or someone and spend 2 or $3 on a pair of shoes that remind you of the shoes that you want. Now, they're not the shoes that you want. He was like, yeah, I'm not, you know, but they're going to be more comfortable. And because why? I'm not talking about shoes here. If you're stuck wearing, doing, seeing, talking on what you are now when you, when you know you want better, you're only reminded of what you are. This man was reminded every day of the shoes he had on. I told him, just spend a few dollars out of Goodwill, get you a nicer pair of shoes that remind you of where you're going. Because right now you can only focus on what you got. And if you're focusing on what you got, you're not moving forward. It's about true happiness. I said, we're forever learning. A man wrote in the 70s when he seen how technology was going. He says, in a time of change, the learners will inherit the earth. And the learned will find themselves beautifully equipped to handle a world that no longer exists. First thing you want to do is take out the big green. You want to add balance. You want to do that on a consistent basis. Balance, applied knowledge. When you start learning stuff, accept it. Weigh it out. Try it with your, with your ideas. You're evolving. I'm evolving all the time. That's why I can't wait to get here to Toastmasters all the time. To hear what someone's got to say. Or to hear the ideas they're going to help invoke in my head. I'm going to end with this. Paul could work on a project for 15 years. He could be working on a tangible item, a project, and bring it to me. And in 15 minutes, explain to me what he created. Now, because he can explain it to me in 15 minutes, my mind isn't caught up full of 15 years of work, and I might be able to expel on that idea immediately. Things evolve like that all the time. We're not engineered. Our culture isn't engineered around your ultimate happiness. The closest thing our culture is going to get us to is dreaming. We need to work on the things that's going to make us truly happy. Toastmaster. Take a moment, what we do.